Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld. We're in Alpha 13 in our colony of Cougar's Hope, and I've got to get used to my controls again. Wow. If you hold down the mouse button and, and wiggle, the whole world goes crazy. I've just been playing Farming Simulator 17, and all of the controls for that one are, are uh, burned into my brain right now. Check in this map out trying to remember what we were up to. It's nighttime. 11 o'clock at night. Most would get the order to go to bed around 10. So Brand probably got the order but he's happy as can be. Oh, His rest is down there. He's going to be uh, as soon as he finishes off this project. He's making an armor, armor vest. I'm going to turn the game on and he'll head to bed. Ronnie's going to do something to eat and she's going to take off. Eric probably when he stops that rabbit has already woke up so his schedules all wonky right now how are we doing on meals 2833 so he's gonna be done with making meals here soon and he'll get to butchering and then he'll be done he'll be off uh, taming boomal or uh, yeah boomalopes or alpacas or whatever is out here how are our bears right now cargo pods bears are right there but we'll come right back to them they're sleeping you guys, uh, you've detected a cluster of cargo pods scratching nearby. Perhaps you'll find something useful in them. Ooh. All right, and it's to our north side. To our south side, it's probably not the best place to go right now, but we'll get there in a second. Let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> and while I'm doing that, where did Michael sneak off to. He went to bed. He's a night owl. He's supposed to be up right now, but he's exhausted. And Rabbit went back to bed. Okay. Didn't expect that. So we've got everybody sleeping. Okay. Well, we'll just spend our time planning things out. This grizzly is hungry, or just about to be. This grizzly is hungry. And... Where am I? Down here. There. This cougar is hungry. So we don't want anybody hauling goods from down here for a while. Let's let them bite into their boom rats and boomalopes and hopefully a, a deer instead. But, you know, they, they have done that before. Get all of that out of their system and then we'll come back down here and mine this stuff. Let's see. Question came in as to whether or not Klaus, if Spirit should be sleeping in the same room with Klaus, if there is a, uh, a social interaction with him. Klaus, I've chosen because he's not likely to be diving out into battle like uh, some of the others do because he's a he's melee character, so that would keep Spirit a little more protected here in the base. And Spirit Social doesn't say needs. Okay, let's go to Klaus. See if there's any indication of that here. Um, nothing there. Social. Not that I can see. Attempted to woo Nettie into a romance. Woo! Nettie rejected the advance. Really? Nettie is plus 25. We gotta take a peek at some of these. See what's been going on. Who's up? That's Dwayne's bed. Right there. How you been doing? You're getting along with most everyone. Rokes. Um, father and aunt. Father is dead. And Maverick is your aunt. <laughs> Hostile, part of the murders of hostility. Interesting. So the relationships with people outside of our colony, because Rokes would have been a captive uh, prisoner at one time that was asked to join. Nettie was wooed by Klaus, rejected. Brand is still as happy as can be. Uh, attempted to recruit Lur. Lur re rejected the offer. Oh, what else do we have going on here? Eric is getting along well with Brand, Nettie, and Klaus. Good. And Nettie is not hating on on uh, Eric as much 
We're up to a negative six now. <laughs> um, Michael, we're getting along good with Rokes and Rabbit. And Eric, we did Eric. Anybody else? Trebo. If you do this for Trebo, what do you have? Let's see. Good friends with Pisa, Leopard, Camissa, and Prairie Dog of her home colony of the Barra of the Ridge. Okay. Uh, neutral with Dwayne and Lur. Three. Okay. But no relation with uh, Brand, who's been doing all the talking. That's interesting. Okay. Anyway. What have we got going on right now? I was going to... we got to worry about these animals. Okay. And I've gone through, in between episodes, got rid of the hauling, and reset everybody to their primary tasks. So, Dwayne is first going to craft, and then he'll drop into cleaning. Ronnie is first going to hunt, and then haul, clean, and then drop into growing, because Ronnie's only a 5 out of 20. Quite often, the... Uh, for growing, when they go to harvest, there's a chance they're going to mess up and lose all the food. It's kind of odd. You can't pick a, a tomato without destroying it. Well, that was odd. My game just uh, um, went to desktop on me. So, looks like I'm still recording. We'll just continue from here. It actually created a, perhaps just created a new uh, video file and it's, it just started recording again. Interesting. RimWorld has been doing that lately to me, so I don't know what's up there. Um, get back to going again. So, I have no idea what I was talking about. So I'll just pretend like I wasn't. We are ready to get these guys reset. So auto, not auto arm, just manually reset these. So let's get this going. Do a little bit of clean up this episode from, uh, from issues that have been added to the comments that I need to work on. And there's still some things we need to to do here. Uh, you guys waking up yet? You are. And you're on the hunt. Oh, man. Dude. Yeah, we know it's going to happen there. You aren't going to do this. Ugh. Well, I think we're going... The map just shook. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, darn it. Well, I think we're going grizzly hunting this, uh, this episode. These guys are injured already. He's trying to eat a burning boom, uh, boom rat. So are you, and you're still burning doing it. Really? That's really odd. Are you... Extinguishing the fire. And now my area is on fire. And we're going to get someone triggered to go over here and put this out. We... Actually, we don't really need to. That's not going to... There's no grass around it. It's going to go out on its own. But those guys are satisfied now. So, music just changed a little. Interesting. Oh, I see. It just transitioned to a new song. Um, you are done too. What did you eat? No injuries. So, no turtles. Okay. So, they've all been satisfied. And this is going to burn itself out. Remy just took out a squirrel. Everybody's hungry right now. Ronnie is going to finish off the deer hunting. Though... I wonder... Who do we want to go hunt grizzly? Let's give Eric something different to do. Oh, before I do that, I'm going to leave this pause a second. Let's... Which one? He's heading away. I was going to take them out because they're getting close. Let's get rid of this one. We're going to hunt this one. Grizzly bears will often attack when harmed. Okay. So, back on again. And, Eric, why don't you come on down to here? You head down here. We'll use our door, that little tool that we created to do this right. I don't think Ronnie is going to trigger to go after this one, though it is possible. I'll have to keep an eye on that. 
And it's possible that the bear will not just attack Eric, who's shooting at him, but will attack anybody around. So we do need to keep an eye on Michael and Remy. Huh. Timing's probably not all that great right now, huh? Remy, go away. Yeah. I want to take a shot here. I, have, I would imagine Remy's toast if I do. Hmm. Okay. Will. Eric. False alarm. This bear... I have a feeling it's going to roam further down in a way and, and not be uh, a problem. If Remy wasn't there... And I'll bet you Ronnie's going to grab the next closest target, and that's going to be right here. Okay, Michael's heading that way. Let's divert Michael. Send him over. He wants to mine. I've, re I've reset him for mining. We've set him to over here. And Remy is hopefully heading up there. Come on, Warg. Hmm. Yep. Best late plans. All right, undraft Eric. Let him do his thing. Wait for Remy to go off and do something else. Michael is... Where? You went through the base to get there. Okay. Tell you what, Michael, let's undraft you. You do whatever you want. Which is what? I'm going to sit down. Okay. Remy's still floating out here. Oh, and Ronnie did head out there and do that. Okay, not my plan. Let's hunt with turrets. Somebody turn this on. Uh, power. Ronnie, get off one more shot. Maybe. I think so. The bear is not going after Remy. All right, Ronnie, head in here, please. Actually, head right there. Somebody's going to get the order, probably Klaus, to go and turn that on. This grizzly is going to run the gauntlet. We do have a few traps set up, but Remy is going to automatically aim and fire when the grizzly gets into view here. There we go. And was that a shot or was that a trap? I didn't see. No injury to the head like a trap would do. That may have been a shot. Okay, well, mission accomplished. You, undraft, and all grizzly bear. And she's going to go around the outside to get it rather than walk through the traps. That's good to see. Flash tried to take a walk through and, and hit her barrier that she can't walk through these areas and turn around and left. Okay. All right, well... This grizzly over here ended up where? It was right here before, right? Down here. I'm still a little worried about this one, though. I think it's time to take them both out. But I would like Eric to get the, the challenge of doing that. How you doing? You're pretty good otherwise. So let's try this one more time. Draft, you head to here. We'll see if your survival rifle has that much range. Anybody else out here? Michael went where to go mining next? He's heading north. Okay, that's good. Nobody else is down here. We do need to get this meat in. Where's that out? That's over there. While you're on your way over there, uh, Dwayne, you are stone cutting. You can stone cut after you go to pick up a load of this husky meat. Mmm. Ooh, another bear just wandered in. Haul husky meat, assuming that this bear is not going to eat soon, and it's not. Okay. Who else can haul some husky meat? Rabbit is making meals, and we've just eaten a lot of them. Okay. That's not going to happen. Nettie is sewing, and that's that's important to do. Who's left? Is that Rogue's hiding in there? That's Ronnie. Hunting a doe. Those doe will be there. Along with Ray and me and Fa. And, uh, anyway. 
Hull Husky meat. <laughs> Alright, Eric's about in place. And right there, can you hunt? You cannot. Melee attack? Out of range. Okay. Well, let's go here. Your running speed was in the fours, right? So you're fine. You should. Out of range. Okay, stop there. Ah, I keep hitting the wrong button. There. And right click. No. That's what I want. Fire a Grizzly. Now, who can run faster, a Grizzly or Eric? Let's see if Eric has got his tennis shoes on. <laughs> you ever hear that joke? A couple of, of uh, hikers come across a bear that starts to, to charge them, and the one gets ready to run, the other one drops and pulls his tennis shoes out of his backpack. And the other one says, oh, come on, you're not going to outrun a bear. And the other one says, I don't have to outrun the bear, I just have to outrun you. <laughs> All right, he's got his tennis shoes on. That's going to close. Bear is going to do what? He's going to go around this side. Eric, get into position. Wow, there's not much room there. We need to chip this out and get a longer line of sight. Let's go back right here. Will the bear turn? It did not. Going after Klaus, I'll bet. No. No. Klaus, where are you going? Um, Klaus has a knife. You don't bring a knife to a bear fight. All right, you are now going to to haul in what? What's a good Klaus project? I take you up another direction, completely away from. Mr. Angry Grizzly. There's nothing to do out here. Huh. Okay. Hate you to say go here, but I guess that's all there is to do. Can this be harvested? Any of these? Klaus, Klaus, you are set to harvest, right? Yeah, to grow. I don't have Klaus chosen. It would pop up if I right-click on it and I can harvest it. None of these are ready. Okay. All right. Just go here. I'll just have to remember to uh, release you after a while. Did you change your mind? You're still melee attacking Eric. Well, let's see if Eric can get off a shot if he races to here real quick. <clears throat> Aim. You're going to get mauled, aren't you? Move. Okay. All right. Head down over here. Let's do this another way. And no, that's not going to work either. Let's get you back to here. By the time you take the aim, it'll be on top of you. you got to start from the other side. Okay. Let him get out to there and then go here. Now, and but he does, then he doesn't go back. Oh, that's frustrating. All right, we need to fine tune our, our our method here. We need to probably get Ronnie in so we can shoot from two different spots at once. Yeah, um, we could run in circles around this thing. Let's give that a try. Now, you didn't take a bump from him, did you? Nope, you got out. Left arm has a problem. Otherwise, head to here. We'll see what happens. Oh, 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 there we go, there we go. Right back there. Ready and aim. And is there enough time? The rock should slow the bear down. Okay, go through, go, go, go. Bear goes back. Not playing fair, I know that, but head out over here. Bear turns around. You go back. We'll do this a few times. We'll get the job done. Last one. No. Go, go, go. <laughs> back to there. Poor mood. Eric, right? Dwayne. Oh, Dwayne. 
I don't like standing here. Let me go. Okay. <laughs> Is he going to make it? Oh, I think he took a bite. Okay, what happened there? Health? Nope, he got out. He rolled the 20-sided the dice and, and, uh, and rolled a 14 and made it. Some of you will get what that was about. <clears throat> Go here this time. And he's going a lot slower now. I think we're going to find we've got some uh, spine and leg. And rear, uh, right leg. Okay. One more round, maybe. This is not as powerful as the sniper rifle that Ronnie's using, so it's going to take a little longer to do this. Okay, thank you. That was getting a little frustrating. Cannot bury Grizzly Corpse. Let's let the game run for a little bit and try that again. Eric. Uh, can Eric not haul? Work. Eric is... No, he's set to haul. Why can't he bring that grizzly in? It's forbidden. Uh, okay, try that again. Haul grizzly bear. To the kitchen, please. Ronnie, you are taking out the last couple deer over here. Made an armor vest. Good. Being dropped off. <clears throat> Was it rabbit that needed one? Somebody's going to get the order to go and... Poor mood alert. Klaus does not like dark places. So there's no claustrophobia or anything in here, right? No. <clears throat> Needs just kind of down all the way around. Hmm. Let's instead have Klaus go and grab a fine meal. Give him a little bit of a boost. Where am I? There I am. And we've got a few of them. Yeah, we can do that. <clears throat> no poor moods allowed in, in Cougar's Hope. Even the Cougars are happy around here. How you doing? What was that noise? It was kind of a bear noise. I passed through here. Alright, so where is... We took out both the bears, that's right. We have our new bear over here somewhere, which we're going to have to uh, to worry about. I'll leave the rest of that meat for this one. It's going to need it soon. We do have some mining out here, though. I'm a little worried about the the mining. That's what I'm thinking about. It's the only reason I'm taking the the bears out. Klaus, poor mood, but we're adding finished electric smelting. We're adding, this is Klaus, there's no indicator that it's going up. Let the game run, well not until I get rid of this. Alright, so we're back to electric smelting soon. <clears throat> Odd. Food went up, okay. And mood is going to go to here as a result. We're not going to break. Sleeping, we'll, we'll finish him off, it'll make him happier again. So instead, he's going to go get into another confining area and get angry again. All right, so let's, we're going to have to keep him out in open areas for a while. So Klaus, we're going to take your mining down one notch and take your, actually, we'll just leave it like that. You're going to go to growing, and if there isn't any, you're going to go to hauling instead. Nearest thing to haul. Refueling the fueled generator. Fuel generator. This guy. 25 out of 100, so needs some, some uh, wood dropped off. Interesting. Flashes over here. Brand is doing what? You're going all the way out there for steel. Let's have you instead haul in all of that steel. I hear Ronnie shooting way off in the distance. <clears throat> Sniper rifle's good for a long distance. Apparently not very good for right up close. Yeah. 
Okay, we reset the traps. Yeah, it just didn't happen. Flash made a noise. We need to get construction and cleaning set a little bit higher. See, both these jobs are kind of... And these have been waiting for a long time. So, I was having Nettie do tailoring. And that's what she's working on. But she's my second best constructor. I think I need to do that. And cleaning... Nettie's done. Let's... So when there is no... Oh, Ronnie. When there is no hunting, Ronnie is going to default to her next two, which is hauling. Let's make her next two cleaning. And she's going to clean now until there's more hauling, more uh, hunting jobs to do. Okay. That'll take care of both with the least disruption to our schedule. <clears throat> so, the cougars left down here and did eat. Which means we could go hunting again. Safely. But we won't. And then we have a grizzly over here, near where Michael is, who's not eating yet. Close, but probably toward the end of the next day. We're going to have to keep an eye on Michael. That could be a problem. I He's got a slower running speed, so I have a feeling that a bear will overtake Michael. Does it say the running speed of the bear? I'm curious if that information is here. <clears throat> there. 4.3. That's quite fast. Okay. We'll definitely overtake Michael, but there's meat right here. So he'd have to be the closest meal. And there's lots of other small things out here, squirrels and whatnot. So chances are pretty good Michael will be here next episode. <laughs> All right, so Nettie is going to get to work on construction. And we may have to specifically say do this construction first and get it done. We haven't had attack for a while. You know what that means. Uh, these guys are turned on. Batteries have not been done either. We need to get into the bank of these built. Yeah, lots to do. And I don't see that there's... Okay, we didn't see that there was a negative on Klaus as a result of Spirit not being here. Slighted Dwayne. Aha. Uh -huh. Klaus... And Dwayne are having a little tiff of some kind. So, but what if we were to put in a an animal bed here anyway? Now, can we assign these? There's probably no way to do that, right? Bed, no assigning. So really, any would walk over and sleep there. Now, well, we'll give it a try anyway, see how it works. Still lots of boar skin? Boar skin, yep. So, furniture, you out of boar skin. We'll drop one in right there, and we'll just see what happens. All right. <clears throat> Nighttime, which usually means planning time. I had an interruption in my video, so the timer's all messed up. I'm thinking we're somewhere around 20, 30 minutes. That sounds about right. So, we need to plan this out. What do we have to build with? We've got marble. That's why we sold off our sandstone. So we've got marble. Um, marble is... this color. So, this outer wall here. That's granite or slate. Granite. Ah, we need to finally design the prison. We need to design a hospital. We need some more bedrooms. The thought was to put three more bedrooms here and a hallway down here, connecting to a hallway right here that runs the length, dropping into a prison and a hospital. And then we've got this space available for something else later. That's a way to use what we already have. Is there anything that we already have that could be redesigned into something better? Let's think about that. I mean, these walls could all go away and and a whole new something else going on here. You know, a hallway down, another bedroom, a bedroom, a 
you know, whatever. So we're not limited to you know, having to deal with the original design. What are our temperatures right now? We're 50 degrees outside. You know, this entire time we could have still been dumping the heat into the place. Let's do that. Hold open. And zone clear no roof area after it's opened. So pause. Can you just come here right now and get that done? Thank you. Good. Undraft you. No roof. There. So this is now indoors. That is indoors. It was 52, just shot up to 67. So now this heat's going to be dumping inside. We should do that until we get a daytime temperature outside of 70, which is what we're trying to maintain in here. So with that, we could shut down a little more heat, a little more power. Leave this one going. Leave this one going. Let's turn this one off. All right. What do we do with our design here? How do we do it? I mean, do I just pop in an outside wall? Mad animal. Outside wall and get it done, then we'll figure out the inside later. I could do something like that. Who's our mad animal? A local boomalope has gone mad. Oh, that's the worst. Last thing we need is for you to run inside and go boom. Ha. <sighs> okay. We need to take you out from a distance somehow. Let's get Rabbit's Plasma Rifle. Is that what you're called? A charge rifle? Out here. Yeah, I think we're going to blow up a trap right here is what we're going to do. Let's get Ronnie. You've got a good shot. Draft, you're going over here too. And I suppose Eric. I'm looking to see if Eric's name is in here somewhere. I'm really surprised I'm not seeing it. You're only right there. Where are we? Six in the morning. Eric, Eric, Eric. Okay, let's do it this way. Hit the the uh, uh, period. So right here's where we're, we're looking. There's Eric, right there. Okay. So Eric, you've got a rifle. Put you right up here to this side. The problem is we have a bottleneck here. I'm going to have all these three take off, and they're going to kind of fight to get through this while that boom up's still running in. Who else could... Who's, who else has got a good shot? Is it those three? Brand's got a good shot. You head down into here, too. All right, so let's see... Who gets there first? You will mark. Not a fast run. Health, no injuries. Your speed is a two. Okay, good. That matter then. We could have all of us get in there and get a shot. Everybody besides Nettie, who has a pistol, and anybody who is melee. Michael. You're going to get cranky for being up during the day, but let's get you down here too. Ronnie is. Eric is. Dwayne, no. Nettie, no. Rokes, no. Klaus, no. Is that everyone? Have I missed anyone? I guess that's it. We'll see who's not moving. So Michael, yes. Klaus is right there. So, don't want anybody melee fighting this this battle. You guys all head into here. In fact, let's have you guys try to get off a shot and then run back. Let's have you guys go here. Michael of this group has the slowest running speed. We'll leave him where he is. Yeah, as they're running back, he'll be aiming. Let's go a little bit further. Anybody actually aiming yet? They might be. Or is that just the natural resting spot? Where are you going? You're moving. Uh, mission accomplished. Okay. Undraft. Thanks, guys. And the danger is over. Let's brand Butcher. A boomalope. You can't. Burning. Okay. Um, head over here. 
this one will quickly set up a temporary home zone which will say we have a fire brand undraft reserved by rogues <laughs> okay keep it paused thanks rogues for the help but um, I need brand to do this job and he's already assigned to do it okay you undraft everybody's happy you're gonna put that out the rain probably put it out too and now can you haul it okay we're good so you're gonna haul that in to be butchered and everybody back to what you were doing what was I doing I was thinking about how we're gonna rebuild this so let me just kind of pause this right here and I'll let you guys think this through too we want to maintain this we do need to probably redesign this orders mining let's clip off that guy clip off all of that For that matters clip off all of that and that Michael will come in and mine these out we can stand right here and get a shot down into here which might be enough time it's still a little iffy actually it is a little iffy let's do something else let's put in a wooden wall yeah we got a lot of wood now right there force the bear to come around then we'll have from here all the way down to here to finally aim and get that shot and then get back out that's the design there that will help here let's snip off that corner so come around here we'll do that we'll snip those off that'll give us a, a sooner line of sight okay not for that matter let's do it for good that path right there is consistent all right as soon as the bear comes around here, we've got from this point all the way into there for a shot. All right, so there is our ability to take out uh, um, potential carnivores, even the uh, the thrombone. That tactic would probably work, just going back and forth. Yeah, that's good. So we want to build something from this point over and up. Potentially even out to here if we need to. That's that's available. We need to get, say, three more bedrooms. Failed to recruit. We have struck compacted machinery. Ooh, nice. Grab that. Mine. Mine. And for that matter, let's mine up in here as well, most likely. That was the goal here. Let's get into here and see what's in here. What's hiding in this mountain? Okay. So, three more bedrooms, a hospital. Uh, we've got two artists now. Let's production stone. Art, 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 tailoring. Sculptor, that's what I want. And out of wood. Let's put you right there. Not enough stored. Steel. Okay. Wood and steel. This bear was going to be eaten soon. Whatever happened. You are just about there. We probably should uh, kind of hang over here a little. Whoa. Disease. Fibrous. Mechanites. What does that mean? Ronnie has gotten sick from fibrous mechanites. Ensure you have a medical bed and a doctor. Make sure that Ronnie gets proper treatment. Klaus. Nettie. Oh, man. You're gonna do that to me, huh? Okay. Ronnie. Klaus. And Nettie. Huh. Well, we have these. Turn you on. Um, that one, that one, and normal, good, superior, normal. That's going to have to be good enough for now. 
So, I guess like before. What is that disease called? Or what does that do? Not going to tell me. Uh, will you from here? Does not say. Click on doesn't give me any more information. Affects manipulation, moving, and blood pumping. So, we'll say it's some kind of a heart disease. Okay, well, are you going to? You are. You're going to head to bed. Uh, Klaus? No, that was Nettie that Klaus uh, uh, made a pass on. Okay, so nothing's going on there. And rogues. Do we keep them in bed? And we are going to run out of good medicine. That's a problem. We've only got 10 in stock. We have lots of herbal medicine. So I think we're going to do this. You are going to... I can't do it in the same bed they're in. I think that Ronnie's going to get up as soon as she gets her treatment and leave. So if I, so if I tell her to stay in bed, you're going to stay there. You are going to stay there. And Rokes, you are just turning on the light. Okay, who was our other one? Ronnie, Klaus, Rokes, right? No. Nettie. It was Nettie. Okay. So Nettie, you're hitting there. Let's do that. Michael's turning on the light. Alright, well, there you are. Now, Rabbit, I'm going to change your orders. We're going to say that Klaus will now get herbal medicine. <clears throat> Nettie, herbal. Ronnie, herbal. Rabbit, try it again. We're going to treat them with less effective medicine, but we're going to keep them in bed so that that less effective medicine, I hope, will give us a net uh, equivalent to having good medicine, but not in bed. We'll see if that works. We're going to plow through this medicine way too fast if we don't. We need to get an exotic goods trader, or combat trader, whichever the, the two, whichever of those is the one that uh, um, that brings cheap medicine. Or we're just going to have to bite the bullet and buy some expensive medicine soon. So, I'm going to let Klaus do the work. Just in case, yeah, our uh, rabbit do the work. Klaus... Is that it? Is this not something we need constant treatments for? No. Mild pain. Next treatment in one day. And 23 hours. And I'm not getting a rating as to how badly. Huh. I expected them to stay bedridden. But it doesn't give me the option. He's not injured. Okay. Well, we'll just have to see how this goes. And we get a raid. And somebody's got family in this raid. So, family members are... Rokes' nephew. Maverick. Okay. Huh. Where are they coming from? We'll do family first. Okay. Oh, didn't read it. Okay, raid. Jump to... So, pirates, murders, hostility, arriving in drop pods. They will prepare, then attack. Here they come. What time is it? <clears throat> Forty-some minutes. Because my timer's messed up. So, tell you what. I'm going to leave it right there. And I'm going to save, restart the game, just in case I get any more issues. And we'll spend all next episode watching a hungry cougar go say hi. <laughs> Alrighty, folks. This has been Noble Rambler. Thank you guys for watching. Do be thinking about uh, 
what to do here because next episode I'm going to be too busy to do anything with it. So we do need to rebuild this area. We need to add a hospital, redo the uh, the prison, add some more bedrooms, and anything else I haven't thought of that should go in here. So catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.